think that they're very clear that there are uh, important modifications that the patients can make in their diet to decrease the likelihood of flares, and this includes uh, decreasing the consumption of uh, beer specifically, but other forms of alcohol, as well as uh, shellfish, uh, shrimp, clams, the, that whole uh, group of, of foods, as well as red meats and pork. Uh, if you can minimize the portions of those that you eat, then the likelihood of flaring your disease is less. Uh, uh, having a diet that's low in those substances will have a beneficial, although small, effect on your serum uric acid level over time. Fructose corn syrup should absolutely be avoided, and this is present in a lot of sports drinks, although they're backing off on that now. Uh, and that's something to look at the container label for. Fructose uh, containing corn syrup should really be avoided. It frequently will increase the serum urate and cause attacks of gout. Uh, binge drinking or even chronic uh, beer, even non-alcoholic beer, is particularly um, offensive to gout. It can raise the serum urate level and cause uh, problems in terms of being able to control the urate level and will cause attacks of gout. Uh, there are some dietary changes, uh, more vegetables, particularly more dairy. Limit the amount of fish and meat in the diet, will lower the urate a little bit. But once you put all this together and you follow all of this rigidly, you're really having a very restrictive diet. So I think what really makes sense is a common sense, healthy diet, everything in moderation. The other important guideline recommendation that comes out of the ACR uh, published guidelines is weight reduction. And this has been shown to be more important uh, overall in lowering uric acid than those specific foodstuff modifications that I mentioned before.